Roger Flafford, if he didn't help guide your kids through school or wasn't your principal growing up, then you may have seen him yelling at the refs at a ball game. But now that he is retired, you can find him on Hummingbird Lane at the Daylily Patch, a love that started back in the early 90s. Uh, Alan Beeler and Daryl Malone, everybody knows Alan and Daryl was our guidance counselor high school, they were going to a Daylily show. And I said, a daylily show, those things that grow in the ditches, along the ditches, they have shows for those. And Daryl and Alan both looked at me and said, you don't have a clue, do you? I said, no. So I said, I'm going with you. So I jumped in the car. We went down to UT. Uh, they had these flowers in vases. They were all set up and they were being judged. They had blue ribbons, red ribbons, and the best of show. And they were the most beautiful things I ever saw in my life. And then uh, we bought probably 10 and brought, I brought them home and set out. And then the next week we went over to Mr. Everett and Hazel Daughtery's house. And they had a beautiful house and a beautiful setting over on Western Avenue. And they had some of the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. And uh, they would dig, dig the daylilies right there on the spot. And so I probably wound up with about 10 more. And then as the years have went on, I've kept uh, collecting and I and then about 10 years ago I really got into hybridizing and uh, you know th the first time that a flower blooms and you see it for the first time that that you've crossed it is one of the most amazing things you've ever seen in your life and you just you know you don't always get a good flower but some of them are you just get very outstanding flowers and that's what got me started just just looking creating something that never been created before and seeing it and you know put God in the picture and he, he makes some awful beautiful flowers with your help it's fun being a bee Roger has fun being a bee but he also had some fun helping the younger generations grow in their own unique way too it's 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 very it's the same I mean, you your babies grow and mature and you see them grow up and see the jobs they do and you, you see your flowers grow up and become a, some of the most beautiful clumps of flowers and, and you know you had a big part in that. I have a lot of kids out there that I get teary-eyed, have done a lot of great things, uh, you know, you you watch you watch these kids grow up and you know you see them become doctors lawyers uh realtors you name it and you know it makes it makes your you you get so happy your heart and just like coming to the daily field you see a flower and, and it just it just makes your heart grow and and i love my kids and they've it's been a my journey has been so so fun and growing up it, it's not all a piece of cake just like daylily growing is not all a piece of cake. You always have plenty of weeds and plenty of things that don't go the way you want it to. But in the end, you still get some beautiful, beautiful kids and beautiful flowers. They, it go, they go together in my book. Roger has put his heart and soul into Union County education. And he's now carrying that over to the daylilies. With over 15,000 of them, he wants you and yours to come look at them and enjoy it just as much as he does. You you don't sit around and get things done. You you are constantly working, just like it, just like in school. You never accomplished anything unless you put your mind and body effort into everything that you ever did. I mean that's that's the way I did school. I put everything I had into it, and that's that's what I do here. I I'll I'll be here early of the morning crossing flowers and seeing what I think will look good on cross with something else and sometimes you get it and sometimes you get a dud but uh, you know I've got kids doing kids doing everything out there I've had a lot of lot of students that just you know have done done well and um, and I, I just want to tell every one of them I'm very proud of them I want them all to come see me you know any kid anybody that has kids that comes over here they get a free flower I mean that that's me I just I want to I want to share what I do with the kids I want them to come and just like I taught Mr. Seth this morning how to hybridize, I'll teach every kid how to how to create a new flower, and they'll always go home with one, because that's that's who I am. That's who I'll always be.